Hi, I'm Matt Nichols of MrMaple.com. Today we're going to be talking about a really fun dwarf Japanese maple for the landscape, Acer Palmatum Jerry Schwartz. This is a great small tree that goes through a lot of fun color changes for a witch's broom. Now a witch's broom on a Japanese maple is a dwarf mutation that gives that broom a smaller, more compact trait. So when you find a broom in a tree, it almost looks like a little squirrel's nest. And so those can be found and when somebody grafts that sign wood, then you get a whole new selection of Japanese maple. And that's how Jerry Schwartz was found. So this dwarf compact tree is going to leaf out in the spring a bright pinkish color. It fades to a yellowy green midsummer, and then the fall colors range from oranges to reds. So a really fun, small, compact dwarf that's going to go through a lot of cool color changes. Hi, I'm Tim at MrMaple.com. We greatly appreciate you watching this video. Please like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and as always, sign up for our weekly emails on MrMaple.com. We had 10 new exciting trees every single week on MrMaple.com. You're going to be a part of that. Today, we're talking about Ace of Palmatum Jerry Schwartz. Such a fun little dwarf with such a fun, compact habit. I love the colors on it. They're just outrageously pink. It, it's so fun and so uniquely different. Jerry Schwartz makes a very small tree typically reaching about, about six feet tall by about four foot wide in 15 years. That makes it excellent for railroad gardens, conifer gardens, uh, fairy gardens. The pink color will stand out in contrast with anything. Matt said he liked pairing it with reds. I like pairing this tree with something like a summer gold. So you get that yellow popping against this pink. Such a uh, fun dynamic contrast. Jerry Schwartz was found by one of our friends, Billy Schwartz as a dwarf uh, witch's broom, or some people call it a blessing because they're so unique and so different that when you graft them, like Matt said, they make a very fun little dwarf for the landscape. Billy's found more uh, witch's brooms than anybody I know, and so fun, exciting, but this tree is just amazing. And uh, this was named after his, his mother, Jerry, and then he grafted it, and then has this, we have this little fun dwarf that you can now have in your garden. Such a, a great tree and uh, a tree you'll probably want in your garden, landscape, or container garden. Thanks, Tim. And because of that small, compact shape, this has a lot of great uses in the landscape. This is a great tree to put in a container garden. So that's one you can put in a small patio planter, and that'll be an excellent way to bring these colors all around the garden. I do recommend in the container putting it in some late day shade. The key for the container garden, again with any of the Japanese maples, is good drainage. So you want good drainage on your pot. You don't want to put a tray underneath any of the Japanese maples in containers. Let them flow through with some good flow and drainage and that'll give you the best conditions for one in a pot. This is a great tree for the conifer garden because you've all got all green mostly in your conifer garden. So this is a way to put a splash of color in there without using a ton of space. So this is a small compact tree that works excellent as a, a just a splash of spring, summer, and, and especially fall color in that conifer garden. I like to pair this with other small dwarfs. Uh, Jerry Short is, is a great tree to put near Shana. That's another broom. We'll probably be doing a video on that one soon. Actually found in a similar area, but that's gonna be a bright red you can pair with this Jerry Schwartz and they're gonna play off the colors extremely well. So it makes a great uh, you know, container planter with that one or paired in the garden with it as well. Let's take an up close look at the foliage and show you what we love about Jerry Schwartz this time of the year. So here we have an up close look at Acer Palmatum Jerry Schwartz. I love this pink color that's just so dynamically different from anything else in the landscape. Now Jerry Schwartz was a a witch's broom found on a heavy Matt's Murray style tree. So it makes it very unique in that it has very elongated lobes, but it still has that shortened center node, which is indicative of a witch's broom. So you'll see it has that bubbly round appearance where all the middle nodes are more of a small round shape. And that's very typical of any of the witch's brooms on Japanese maples. I love the contrast this tree provides on itself with that bright pink to that light green to that dark green. It's such a unique tree with such a fun colors that you really don't find on many other trees. It's definitely one of the most divided, heavily Matsumure style foliages for that witch's broom compact habit. So I think it gives it a really fun appearance. It's really different in the garden for sure. I mean, this is a, 
a small tree that's going to be fairly narrow in its habit as well and just give you a really nice compact color palette. Hey, thanks for watching our quick look at Acer Palmatum Jerry Schwartz. This is a fun tree that was on this last week's Tenant 10. If you'd like to get notified every time we put new trees on the website, just sign up for our Tenant 10 emails. We put 10 new trees on there every single Tuesday at 10. It's, uh, it makes good gardening entertainment. We shut down a few offices, I've been told by some of our customers. They say, when 10 a.m. hits on Tuesdays, our whole office gathers around and nothing gets done. So it's a fun way to share gardening with your friends, and we greatly appreciate you signing up for those. Hey, if you're watching this on YouTube, hit that bell as well. That'll give you any of our notifications. Uh, I believe we're right around 50 videos in a row now for every day, so we're putting out videos almost daily. Uh, we greatly appreciate you liking, subscribing, and sharing. As always, share that with your gardening friends. If you're in a gardening club, say, hey, have you checked out the Mr. Maple Show on YouTube yet? Because we keep adding new things. As we creep in on that thousand mark, we're going to be doing some giveaways and some other fun things, so stay tuned for that. We greatly appreciate you watching. So uh, have a great day, and as always, God bless. If you're still watching at this point, comment your favorite witch's broom Japanese maple.